Ever since the end of 2019, one question has been on the back of every Skyblock player's mind. What is better, Frozen Blaze or Superior Dragon Armor? And the answer was Superior Dragon. And then, the pets update rolled around. And one question had been on the back of every Skyblock player's mind again. What is better, Frozen Blaze? Look, you get the point. Frozen Blaze is probably one of the most controversial sets in the game. It spent its time getting buff after buff, both directly and indirectly. And the recent change where it was both changed to legendary rarity and had its catacombs requirement dropped all the way to 20 is probably one of the things that pushes this set into really good territory. Alongside this armor set, another armor set is probably infinitely better than you remember. Ember Armor. This set is one of the oldest sets in the game, and it costs literally nothing, but paired with the legendary Magma you pet, it becomes one of the best sets in the game for price to performance. And finally in the comparison, Superior Dragon Armor, Shadow Assassin Armor, and Necron Armor, paired with the level 100 Ender Dragon pet. All of these sets are fully hot and fuming potato burst with the Ancient Reforge, Growth 6, Protection 6, Legion 5, and Recombobulated, with the exception of the Shadow Assassin set, because nobody was crazy enough to spend all that money on this. But it's close enough for this test and it shouldn't affect the damage numbers too much. These sets are absolutely not the same in price when paired with their pet. And there are other combinations that you can combine that are either cheaper or better, like using Diamond Necron Head in dungeons or whatever. But for this test, I purely used the whole set on its own with the absolute best case scenario for it. Oh, and Frozen Blaze and Ember Armor are pet locked, so you can't use it as effectively for the Mythology event, so keep that in mind. Oh hey, I haven't done these in a while. But, if you wanna be under 111111 subs gang, then you know what to do. Okay, so let's, like, show you what you came here for instead of reading off small print for two minutes. This first set of tests were done outside of dungeons, and I started with the Ember Armor, because I honestly didn't expect it to be much for how cheap it is. And my expectations were completely wrong, because not only did this set give me 32,000 EHP, and I dealt 310,000 damage, which is really impressive for a set combination that costs less than a Soul Eater 1 book. Now, Superior, the old king of armor sets, which was actually renowned at the time, because apparently, that's what people normally use with Superior, but anyway, this set gave me 35,000 EHP, and I dealt 350,000 damage. This literally costs 120 times more than Ember Armor, and is barely any better. Shadow Assassin was next on my test, and it had a squishy 22,000 EHP. Probably because the set didn't have all the defensive enchants, but it still ended up being less than the other sets. In terms of damage, this dealt 418,000 damage, which is like, a lot of damage. The main thing that makes this set expensive is the chestplate. And you can easily swap out the chestplate for a cheaper zombie knight chestplate, which will do even more damage at the cost of a lot of HP. Necron's set is the most expensive of all, and had 29,000 EHP, whilst dealing 448,000 damage, which is a lot of damage. Now, the moment of truth. Is Frozen Blaze the best? The answer is... kinda. For starters, it costs 3 times less than the other sets, including the pet. And for EHP, I got 35,500 EHP, which is the highest on the list, even whilst using the Ancient Reforge. And for damage, I did 369,000 damage. By no means is that impressive, but for its price, I could probably consider it better to spend 56 million on this set, and then put the 140 million you save over buying Necron and the Strong Pet towards a Strong Sword, or even towards a Voltry or Hyperion. Now, 
The second test I did was in dungeons, as a berserker. Dungeons works a bit differently, and there's a lot of things to consider when keeping a test fair, so I'll put the whole details of how I tested this in the description. I don't want to bore you here. I could have used my diamond necron hat for all of this, which would be so much better and sway things away from the frozen blaze's favor, but again, I wanted to test this raw, and I tested it in floor 5, so the head wouldn't have worked anyway. Oh, and I did not test the ember armor here, because you cannot convert ember armor into dungeons gear, so I guess that's what your budget set gets you. The whole cycle of going through results is also probably getting kinda boring, so I'll just show you them all here. As expected, superior armor sucks. But the other sets were decently competitive, and Frozen Blaze was a good middle ground between EHP and damage. If you regularly play Floor 7 and have a brainstem, you'd realize that Floor 7 is very time locked on the first three phases, and your DPS output doesn't matter much at all, even if you're trying to be fast. As long as you're one hitting things in the main dungeon, you're literally gonna be fine, and you should focus on EHP and speed instead, so you don't throw in front of your guild or friends. Controversial opinion aside, if you don't have a lot of money, then yeah, get Frozen Blaze. Why do I focus on Frozen Blaze so much in this video, when it's clearly not the best? Because theoretically, it's the only armor set you're ever gonna need. Once you can afford this, it'll take you all the way from floor 1 to floor 3, and then you can use Adaptive, Spirit Boots and Shadow Assassin for floors 3 to 6. Then, when you reach Kata 20, you can just convert Frozen Blaze to Dungeons Gear, and then that'll be the only set you'll ever need. This set also gets better with Catacombs level, giving this to my Kata 37 friend, Frozen Blaze did 13 million damage and Necron did 14 million damage. The set literally gets better with age in both EHP and damage, largely because of the stacking percentages bonuses and the weaker the weapon you use with this set, the higher the bonus damage you'll deal, because the doubled hot fuming potato boots also include doubling the damage bonus they give. So, what's the conclusion? If you can afford it, buy Necron armor. It's still the absolute best. There's no twist ending here. Nothing changes. If you're on a budget, get Frozen Blaze and a Blaze Pet, because it's really, really strong, both defensively and offensively. And if you're on a super budget, well, I think everyone here has learned that Ember armor is literally cracked. Alright, that would be it for this video. I hope you learned something or was entertained. Not really sure how that could be entertaining, but if you want something entertaining, then check this cool video I've made that I spent lots of time on. It's about what would happen if the auction house never existed. Give it a watch. Okay, see ya. Have a nice day.